வெல்கம் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் டாக்டர் பிரசாந்த் பாட்டில் மெயின் ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபி இன்ஜினியரிங் வெலகாமி ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் மை சேனல் ப்ரெஸ் த பெல் ஐக்கான் ஸோ தேட் வி கெட் த நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் லைக் த வீடியோ கமெண்ட் அண்ட் ஷேர் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ஆன் இன்வர்ஸ் ஜட் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் ஆஸ் வி நோ ஜட் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் யூஎன் சீக்வன்ஸ் யூஎன் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு கேபிட்டல் யூ ஆஃப் ஜட் இன்வர்ஸ் ஜட் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் கேபிட்டல் யூ ஆஃப் ஜட் வில் பிகம் u of un therefore first i will use the standard formula for z transform and their inverse laplace transform by the side i will explain here here z transform of 1 if un is equal to 1 is there then it's a z transform is given by z divided by z minus 1 therefore inverse z transform of z divided by z minus 1 is i can write it as equal to 1 similarly if it is a z transform of a raised to n if it is there i know it's a z transform as z divided by z minus a therefore inverse z transform of z divided by z minus a if it is there then i can write it as a a raised to n this formula i am going to use many times like that z transform of n i know z transform of n is z divided by z minus 1 it's a square therefore inverse z transform of z divided by z minus 1 square i can write it as equal to n but whereas z transform of a raised to n using the damping rule that one i have proved in my one of the z transform video just you can go through the playlist z transform there will get all these things derivations and all those things like that z transform of a raised to n into n is nothing but a z divided by z minus a raised to 2 for a raised to n into n n i know like that a raised to n if it is multiplied here a will get therefore inverse z transform of a into z divided by z minus a raised to 2 will become a raised to n into n similarly z transform of n square now z transform of n square that is given by z square plus z divided by z minus 1 cube therefore inverse z transform of z square plus z divided by z minus 1 cube is nothing but n square therefore if you remember the z transform of standard functions inverse z transforms you can easily write them okay like that if n square is multiplied with a raised to n that is z transform of a raised to n into n square if it is there then its lap z transform is given by a times z square plus a square times z divided by z minus a cube it is very much similar to this n square but a raised to n is extra multiplied therefore a terms will come here like that inverse z transform of a z square plus a square z divided by z minus a cube is given by then a raised to n into n square like that next i can write as z transform of n cube i can have formula z transform of n cube is given by z cube plus 4 z square plus z divided by z minus 1 raised to 4 okay i will write this one as a formula number 7 this also 7 therefore inverse z transform of z cube plus 4 z square plus z whole divided by z minus 1 raised to 
is nothing but n cube i can write okay like that if n cube is multiplied with a raised to n what happens then z the transform of a raised to n into n cube is equal to a z cube plus 4 times a square z square plus a cube z whole divided by z minus a whole raised to 4. You can just observe that each term is of degree same 1 plus 3, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 1 like that. Like that you can remember also. Therefore, inverse z transform of a z cube plus 4 times a square z square plus a cube z whole divided by z minus a raised to 4. Its inverse z transform can be written as a raised to n into n cube. Okay. Similarly, similarly, I know the z transform of cos theta and sin theta. Now, z transform of cos sorry sin n theta I am having formula sin n theta is given by z into sin theta whole divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. Therefore, z transform of sin n pi by 2 means theta equal to pi by 2 here. Okay. Theta equal to pi by 2. For theta equal to pi by 2, z into sin pi by 2 will become 1. Therefore, it becomes z divided by z square and cos pi by 2 is 0. Therefore, whole term becomes 0. z square plus 1. Therefore, ninth formula what I can write here? Inverse z transform of z divided by z square plus 1. I can write it as sin of n pi by 2. Okay. Similarly, I am having z transform of cos n theta. I have cos n theta formula as z into bracket z minus cos theta divided by z square minus sorry z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. Therefore, z transform of cos of n pi by 2 cos of n pi by 2 will become now put theta equal to pi by 2. Cos pi by 2 is again 0. Therefore, z into z will become z square plus z into cos 0 divided by z square minus 0 plus 1. Therefore, one more formula I can write it as what? Inverse z transform of z square divided by z square plus 1. I can write it as equal to cos of n pi by 2. Okay? These formulas I am going to use in solving the inverse z transforms. Okay? In my next videos, I am going to use them. And one thing you can remember here, while finding the inverse z transforms, the numerator must be, must contain at least one z. Z term here. Okay? You can just see here, z, 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 a into z, or z square, you can take common, z will remain here. Here also z remains z. Numerator should contain z at least or you can con convert the numerator in the standard forms. Then we can find out easily the inverse z transforms. In my next videos, I am going to solve examples on this inverse z transforms. Just remember this formula. If you not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe the channel. Don't, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of my next videos. Like this video, comment and also share this video. Thank you friends.